Good morning, guys. It is only like 1.13, but I'm getting ready to start dinner because Kaden has baseball tonight. So we always are rushing. As soon as they get home from school, they have to do their homework, and then it's time for Travis to get home, and then we have to go straight to the ball field. So we don't ever have time to eat dinner before we like go to the game. So I want to have everything done before the game, and then right as soon as we get home, everybody is always starving, so they won't have to wait on dinner to be cooked. We can just heat everything up and throw it together, and yeah, then we can all like, cause we get home super late, so by the time I like cook dinner and everything else, it's already time for the kids to go to bed, so I don't like want them to go to bed hungry, so actually Travis had this idea to just get everything ready. That way, as soon as we get back from baseball, we can just throw it together and eat, or um, like the kids can eat before Travis gets home. So I'm gonna show you guys what I am making. Tacos are our like favorite meal in this house, so we are always making tacos. And it's Tuesday, so what better day to make tacos than Taco Tuesday? So let's get started on making these tacos. So for our tacos, we use lean ground chicken. You can use lean ground beef or ground turkey. We kind of switch it up and use all three. But here lately, I've only been wanting to use lean ground chicken because it tastes so good. We accidentally picked up the ground chicken instead of ground turkey one day, and ever since then, we've just been using the ground chicken. I think it tastes so much better. Although I do like the ground beef, um, but I don't know, I just like the chicken better. It they're just tastes really good, and then you know that you were eating healthy because it's lean ground chicken. <laughs> so yeah, definitely try it on your next taco day. Get the ground chicken instead of like the ground beef or the ground turkey. It's so good. While the meat is cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and get the tomato cut up and just stick that in a container. That way everything is ready to go when we get home from the game. Okay, so it totally looks like we have no food in our fridge, and that is because we don't really have that much in this one. We had just gotten this fridge the day before because our other one had went out, so we have to move everything in from the garage fridge. We just haven't gotten around to doing that yet, and we also do need to go to the grocery store. All right, so I got the meat going and I got the tomato cut up and then I have the cheese and the lettuce. Oh, we bought um, pre-cut lettuce. Normally I will cut it myself, but I knew that we would be in a hurry on this day, so we just picked up the pre-cut lettuce and then we have the shredded cheese and then we have salsa. And then the only thing that I will make when we get back from the game is the tortillas because the tortillas that we use are, um, they are the Corn tortillas, um, like this. They're the ones that you have to um, like heat up on a skillet. And if you heat them up and then reheat them, they're not good. So I will just make those when we get back because those literally take like a couple seconds to make. So I'll just heat those up on the skillet when we get back. So I'm just gonna finish cooking this taco meat and then everything will be ready for dinner tonight when we get back from the baseball game. So to make the taco meat, I don't measure anything. I kind of just like go off of what it looks like because I know how I like my tacos. So I'm just pouring in some water and then the taco seasoning. And honestly, I don't know how much I use because I just pour it in there until I like how it looks. All right, so we are home from the game and it is time to heat everything up. I just have to make the tortillas, which they literally take a couple of minutes. And then I'm just gonna heat up the taco meat, which is super quick and easy. Jingle, jingle, jingle. I wanna feel my slime. Oh, here, boy. We'll get it in there. Come on, come on, boy. Boy, look how good I, 
I can make a ball out of slime. So the tortillas that we use, we just have to heat up on the skillet. So I'm just taking coconut oil butter right here. I really like avocado oil butter too, but I was out of that one. So I'm just using the coconut oil butter. And I just put a light layer on each side of the tortilla and then just flip them when they are ready. You can always tell because they will be, um, I like my tortillas to have that like, uh, like the brownish on the side. That way, that way you know it is done. And then just flip it into the other side gets that way. And they are the best tortillas. They're so good. Hey, we're talking with Alison Mesa. True. So now that the tortillas are done, you can go ahead and load up whatever toppings you want. I just put the taco meat, lettuce, tomato, cheese, and usually I'll put salsa. So you can literally, however you make your tacos, go ahead and make them. I hope that this helped you on your busy weeknights and you can just go ahead and make your quick dinner. That is going to be the end of this video. I will see you in my next one. Bye.